Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today it is time for a first impression with a Colourpop palette and I am going to use the Powerpuff Girl and freaking motorcycle uh, the Powerpuff Girl palette from Colourpop and okay, we're getting that so the palette looks like this in the packaging and if, if we take it out it is I thought this was really cute I can show you like the inside of the box it's a lot of things good explanation and the palette looks like this and on the inside it looks like this and now I I don't think this is a super fun palette, but I loved the Powerpuff Girls when I was little. I loved to watch Cartoon Network and <laughs> Powerpuff Girls was a show that I watched a lot and I really loved it. And in Swedish, it <laughs> I only ever seen it in Swedish because I didn't know English. Uh, they are called Powerpuff Pinglona and they have other names, of course. So Bubbles, her name is Bublan. Blossom is Blumman. And Buttercup is Butran. And I, of course, when I was little, I thought that I was Bubbles. Not because I liked blue. Okay, I loved blue when I was little. But she looked like me with the blonde hair. So I always think of myself as Bubbles. And okay. Enough about my childhood memory with Powerpuff Girls, I'm just going to dig into this palette and see what I will do. And first off, what I can say what I like my first impression of this palette, I thought they could do one row with pink, one row with blue and one with green and not like this. But it is what it is and I mainly bought it because I love the Powerpuff Girls when I was a child. So okay, I'm going to prime my eyes, stop talking about my childhood, and then we dig into this palette. So okay, I don't even know what I want to do with this. Maybe you want to see a close-up. I didn't show you a close-up. So it looks like this, and I'm really like wanting to use this green, but I don't know if I want to do all a green look. This blue I think is pressed glitter because it's not intended for the eye area. So yeah. I have no idea what I want to do, but it feels like everybody is going to do a green look with this. And do I want to do a green look as well? I don't know. I will just see. I think I actually will start with this neutral shade in my crease that is crime fighting. And then we will see where this will take me. So I will take it in my crease. Did you watch the Powerpuff Girls when you were little? I don't even remember when it first came out. I think it should have been in the 90s maybe. Yeah, so it came out 98. I did it fast googling. I was born in 89. So yeah, I watched it. Okay, that was all like I really know that I wanted to do. Now, I am a little bit lost. Is it boring to use the green? I don't know. Maybe a little bit should I do a super, super green? Maybe a green and a blue eye? How's that? I think though, even though I look most like Bubbles, I think that me and Buttercup are more the same in personality. <laughs> Is that good? I don't know. So maybe I should do a green eye and a blue eye because I never liked Blossom. Um, so if I take these on my blue eye and these two on my green eye and have it like that, maybe I should do that. But is that fun? And do I want to take a glitter? Do I want to have glitter on my face? Okay, so I think... I think I'll take this shade that is Pokey Oaks. And then take Chemical X. 
I wonder if that will look good or shit. It's only one way to find out. <laughs> Actually, so I'm going to try that. Maybe it won't look good at all. So this is Poke Oaks. And I don't know, it doesn't feel like when Colourpop is doing a collab with either a Disney or like in this case Cartoon Network that they do. I think they could have taken it and done it better actually. But I don't know, I guess they have to make a lot of money when they're doing a collab like this because I'm guessing that they have to pay a lot of money to have like the trademark on it so maybe this will sell more than if it was only colors I don't know maybe it is like that but I think they could have done this more fun but like I still bought it so mm, at the same time I love the power puff girls this was like really like nostalgia for me so I will take the green shimmer now and we will see with what kind of shimmer formula it is on this one. I think that Colourpop does some amazing shimmers and then some that aren't like super great and I think this is one of those that aren't super great. Do you know? what i think i actually want to cut this crease because i really want like the full opacity of this some shimmers from colourpop are my absolute favorites and then some are I, okay this is maybe not a bad shimmer but i want it more opaque okay so with a glitter primer it worked perfectly and it really is that intense that I want it to be and I know that sometimes Colourpop does shimmers that are like this amazing from the beginning and sometimes not and I don't know why they don't do all the shimmers amazing can you answer me on that Colourpop? Why aren't you doing that? It's only one thing that I'm missing now. I want to have some depth out here, but I don't know with what. It's not like any super dark colors to take. And I think the blue might fuck it up. But this is like the deepest matte shade. And it's not the deepest you can see. I wonder how it will look if I take the blue one. Will it look like shit? It might. I will try. Because I think it will just look muddy. And yeah, it will just look muddy. I can see that already now. Abort. Abort mission. Abort. 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 But maybe, maybe this is working. If I take the blue, tap it off, and just put it here, and then I go in with this shade that I already had here, and put this over. I think that worked. It made a little. It is a little bit deeper outside, on the outer corner, on the outside on the outer corner, and it's not like too muddy. I wouldn't say. So I actually think this works. I don't think it looks too muddy. It just looks a little bit deeper. So I think that is. I'm satisfied with that. So I will do the same to the other eye, fix my base and my brows, and then I come back with my first impression review on the Powerpuff Girls and we will see what I feel. And I have some thoughts already. This is the finished look for my lower lash. I took 
this super pink one in my inner corner i took this one and for my wash line i took a pen from colourpop this is fluffy and on my lips i took this luxe velvet lip thing take a bow from colourpop i don't know what i think about this but yeah this is my finished look i really like the green shade when i put the glitter primer under it but okay if this palette wasn't powerpuff girls i wouldn't bought it because i i think it's kind of boring i guess that they want more people to buy it and i guess if it looks this way more people will buy it because it's not a crazy palette I think though they missed an opportunity to do one pink row, one green row and one blue row. I think that would have been perfect and I'm also missing some deeper shades. I deepened this down with the blue one. It worked. It's not perfect but worked. So yeah, I'm not super pleased about it. I don't think it's anything wrong with the palette. The colors that I've used are good but i just think they could have done something more <laughs> something more fun and i guess that it's more people like me that bought it because it is <laughs> they grew up with it and the thing that bothers me a little bit on the back side it is a pink row a blue row and a green row um, but it's not in here so i don't know why they did it like that actually but I think the packaging is fun. So yeah. It's a normal <laughs> Colourpop palette, I would say. I just wish that when Colourpop do collab videos, collab videos, collab palettes, that it could be more fun. I actually have bought the Tinkerbell palette. Don't know why I need to stop shopping makeup soon. But that looked so nice. I am not a big fan of Tinkerbell. I have no feelings for her whatsoever, but I thought the palette looked really, really good. But yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you next one. Bye!